Hi do everybody, my name is Splattercat, we're here playing another episode of Legend of Grimrock where I'm feeling pleasantly optimistic about the future. I know I mentioned that at the end of the last episode, but I'm just really, really glad to be done with level 6. Like, I felt like I needed to just lay down in the shower and cry after level 6. And it's, you, I think you all only saw about 4 episodes of level 6, but there were so many hours of me just running around in between, just trying to find secrets and just doing random stuff because... I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to disappoint people when I make this series. Like, I do want to play through, but I miss so much stuff. What I realized after the first four floors, because after I got done with the floor, I started looking up what was left behind, and I started realizing just how much stuff I was missing, and so part of me doesn't want to leave things behind because I don't want to feel like a screw-up, but then, like, the other part of me doesn't want to, like, disappoint my viewers, and so I'm just, like, walking around like crazy at the moment, just looking for extra stuff in between episodes. And so hopefully we'll have a few episodes apiece. The Maze of Shadows. I suppose it could be the Maze of Shadows if they were trying to be especially classy because everybody knows pronouncing things improperly makes you sound at least faux classy for a minute. I wonder if they're literally saying that if you cross one of the shadows, bad things will happen. I think they... Or maybe you have to stay in the shadows. You can't touch any light. Okay, that's cool. This is like one of those areas that they could hide loads and loads of secret stuff, though. Be on the lookout for little Rooney things and also buttons. So it looks like we've got... Is that going to count? Okay, it didn't count. Good. So there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Keep checking walls. Jerk some more chains because that is something anybody that grew up on the internet has learned how to jerk chains quite well by now. This is another note from Two Room. The torches remain out of my grasp. I try to reach for them, but the light they shine plays tricks on me. This place would be the worst day ever. If I ended up in this dungeon, how do you even... How do you even go about your life after you get out of here? This place is really just sort of the nastiest sort of area. Weird hallucinations and things causing all kinds of problems. I don't see anything on the walls right here. I'm trying to be careful about not stepping into any... Oh, hello. A hard stone bracelet. Is that any good? Does it do anything? Protection plus one, higher attack power, slower cooldown. So it makes you take longer to swing, but at the same time, it gives you protection and increases your attack power. I wonder if it lowers your cooldown time for attacks with magic. Let's try it out. Because he's throwing stuff, so he's already being kind of weak anyway, so maybe that'll help him be better at things or maybe it'll work out on her I mean it'll cancel out slightly some of her bonus but at the same time she'll hit 20% harder I don't know if that's a trade that I'm willing to make but whatever we'll try it out for right now ah I was wondering if that would work there's like a bare minimum amount of shadow you have to have here it's okay we'll go back over here obviously I can't go any further down this corridor there's light right there so I think that's gonna get me into trouble and keeping an eye out. What is this? The Scroll of Darkness. Oh, can I cheat this? Oh, I can. I can sort of... I can sort of cheat this. Maybe a little bit. By using my magical prowess. No secret blocks over here. I'm just going to follow the direction that we've already been going. That seems to really... I feel like I was on the right track over here. I just keep getting sidetracked by lovely things that I want. So we can't go that way. We can, however, go this way. I'm going to keep an eye out for buttons and stones and anything else nice that I can make use of. I can't see this clearly because of the darkness spell that I just cast, so I want to make sure that I'm not bypassing anything. I wonder if my own torch light, if I pulled out a torch right now, if it would teleport me back to the beginning. So we've got another slime bell over here, which is actually a pretty good thing because that's one of the reagents that I have the least of. Slime bells, not to be confused with their recent cousins, the slime balls. The slime balls, total dicks. You don't want them to be in your bag. They're constantly just goobering all over everything and making you just regret bringing them along. So if I can't reach the torches over here, that's very clearly not going to be an area that I'm... Okay, so this was the one that... I... Let's go for another darkness spell, maybe? Oh, the darkness is already activated. So this appears to be just about the right amount of illumination to allow me to go past. 
so the torch can be two squares away. Let me take a look at my map here. This square right here makes me feel... Where is the torch? Do I risk it? Okay, so it worked. Is there anything over here? I don't see any... Oh, there... Aha! Not going to get me secret, although at this point we know that the secrets are actually quite a bit more complicated than we actually expected them to be at the beginning. Is that just a food box? So it's just a big old box of food. Okay. Well... Since we've come across a situation of plenty, let's just pass the box around. We'll have everybody just communally take a bite out of it, I guess. And since she appears to be the only person that can actually carry it along with her, we'll leave it on her. She's already over-encumbered because of the shield. I mean, we don't necessarily need to carry around some of this stuff with us. I could give her the leather boots, since strength determine or strength determines. Honestly, I could probably ditch most of this stuff. Just like give her a hat, and then just ditch everything out of this bag in the middle of the floor. I mean, those are sort of tempting because we could throw those on him. So let's do that. The nomad boots. We have no need to restrain ourselves any longer from emotions, so we're going to go ahead and embrace the rage entirely at this point. Ow, son of a bitch. Okay, so I thought that, that was probably going to get me. Let's hurry back to where we were. I think I went across right here. And then I went across right here. There we go. So we're back to where we were. And where does that teleport me to? Just a random location. Ooh, okay, so we don't want to deal with these guys any more than we have to. Let's ready a fire spell. They don't tend to have a whole lot of... Why isn't he turning around? Why is he just letting me slaughter him? That doesn't seem like a very wise way to go about your business. That seems like a horrible way to get far in life, just allowing people to slaughter you. Just like, yeah, go for it. I'm feeling like this life really doesn't have much remaining for me. Just go ahead, stab me freely. I won't complain. I deserve it. I'm terrible. So what's in here? Some extra crossbow corals, okay. Got another one of these statues. I still don't think that any secrets are triggered by them. Let's poke some of these hooks right here. Hook, hook, give us the hook and all that. No. Can I click anything down in here? Nay. A throwing axe. Is that like the next step up? Like that's the next step in how awesome they can possibly be? An attack power of 15. Since I'm not ranging anything anymore, we'll just throw that right there so it's a little bit better. Its speed is a lot lower though, so it takes you all. I like throwing axes a lot. As far as throwing weapons go, I feel like throwing axes are like the stuff. They make me happy. They please me. So how do I get through there? There's got to be some way to deactivate this. Yes. And I did that again. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Is the darkness spell still running? Okay, so we'll just refresh it real fast then. It's not going to be that way, obviously. We want to start... I haven't been this far, so we want to start being careful about buttons again. Which are going to be even more difficult to see now that I've turned off the lights, so... I've sort of blinded myself in order to move my way ahead. Kind of an interesting idea for a dungeon. You have to actually be more blind in order, and I apologize. I'll try and brighten this up in post, which I can do. I can add a little bit of gamma to make it look a little bit brighter so that you can all see what I'm doing, but I can't guarantee it'll fix the issue entirely. The best I can get it to is almost the level at which you are seeing me play the game. Or, I'm sorry, that I personally am seeing me play the game. That's what I meant to say. That torch is two spots away, okay. So it looks like we made it down to the far end. Albeit feeling as though I missed something over there with that big set of bombs. I don't see any buttons though, and I don't see... 
Let's go ahead and do the exact opposite. I like how the light spell is the exact polar opposite on the runes than the darkness spell. It's little things like that that really sort of bring out the lore of the game. Oh, and he's right there, so he's going to go ahead and try to put some Daka on us. But unfortunately, that's just going to be something that we have to deal with. Ooh, and I did both of those hit? I hope that they did. This would be one of those times that that would become useful. And unfortunately, I hit the wrong button right there. And that'll get us back into melee. He's now down. What the hell is that? It looks like there's like a black hole of... Oh, no, it's one of those receptacles. I thought that there was some kind of strange orifice inside of the wall. I suppose we'll continue looking at all of the walls here, although I don't want to fall down any holes. We've got a keyhole right there. Still clicking on all these chain-related accessories. Chains and chain-related accessories. That'll probably just open up that chasm right there. So nothing to worry about for now. I think the first thing we're going to have to focus on is getting that other door open. I'm going to stop using the light spell for a little bit. And we'll just start carrying some torches because I am noticing that I'm not doing very well when it comes to maintaining my weight. My weight problem right now, we're just, we have a serious, serious, a serious weight problem, although not of the kind that you would... Ple oh, Christ. Okay, so we need to go right now. Oh my god, they're resisting so much damage right now. Okay, so we need to go. We need to run away and never be here again. We'll drink that. We'll drink that to get us back up to reasonable health. And the question becomes, do we stand our ground and come back? I guess I'll grab those. I don't suppose that there's a crystal around here anywhere. Ooh, a nice little crit right there. And we're diseased again. Oh, and I've trapped myself. Okay, I went the wrong direction. It's okay, though. We're going to make this work. If you believe in me. Everybody's got to cross their fingers, though, and say, We believe in Splattercat. Otherwise, I'm afraid this plan is simply just not going to come together. We get our throwing axes back. And I think it's time for a retreat. Let's see if we can make it back to... All we gotta do is step into some shadow. There we go. And so we'll make it back to here. And then from here it shouldn't be so difficult. Did I forget about a door over here? No. Okay, so it's just blocked off right there. I'm still not sure how we tell what the windward side of all this is. I don't see a torch holder. Maybe a torch holder will tell us. Let's see if we can, before I go all the way back. I hear crackling. Oh. Okay, not bad, not bad. An extra suit of chain mail. Oh, Ring Greaves. Are those... I already have Ring Greaves, don't I? Okay, so those are going to do me no good. Although an extra... What is this? A Battle Axe. Eh, not going to do me any good either. Some extra throwing knives, though, so I suppose that's something. Eleven throwing knives at this point. We've got a pretty good collection of throwable pointy objects. Although, video games would have you believe that it's easy to throw knives. I may have talked about this already, but throwing knives is actually pretty difficult. My cousin had a set of throwing knives when we were kids. We sat around in his backyard, I think, for almost an entire summer, just throwing knives over and over and over again, just throwing knives, throwing knives, throwing knives. And eventually, when you were about 7 to 10 feet out, you could get it to stick. You would do 2 to 3 rotations, and that's where the trick lies. You've got to memorize how many rotations you need from every distance. And additionally, the harder you throw, you tend to put a little bit of extra English on top of it. If you, if That's an extra little bit of a wrist flick or kind of a rotation of the wrist. As you swing harder and harder and harder, you do it on accident. I don't know if that's the only secret that's over here. I guess how we were supposed to know that this is the windward side really sort of confuses me still. And that closes that off right there, huh? 
All of the doors except for one. All of the doors except for one. I suppose that we know that this is the windward side now, so maybe we'll try and... Because I heard torches crackling right there. Oh, never mind. It's going to be from the other side of the wall. Never mind. I mean, we could try it. Let's go ahead and close this door off right here. I suppose there might be the possibility of a second secret in here. Ooh, alliteration. A second secret slithering in shadows. Well, the shadows doesn't count right there, but I did my best. A, sec a second secret slithering in slime. There we go. That's thematic. That goes along with what we've been facing over the course of this dungeon. Let's go ahead and use the darkness spell. Oh my god. That got really, really, really dark really, really fast. It does sound as though there's the possibility that we might have one of those little fiery guys in here after us. That's what it sounds like to me. But I couldn't 100% verify. I do hear our slimy friend, however. Yeah, let's go with something cheap and effective for now. Come on, slime. Take the bait. Also, do we know if the slimes have to play by the rules of the dungeon? Like, if they go into the light, do they get themselves teleported? Other things to think about. We're diseased again, unfortunately. This means nobody will want to sleep with us. Luckily, there don't seem to be a lot of parties here. I mean, we've got to send... Got to send emails, kind of frenzied emails to all of our previous girlfriends. At least Hedgerow Hank does and be like, listen, you should probably get yourself tested. I got a disease from a slime down in the dungeon. Don't ask how it happened. It just sort of did. One thing led to another. My life was moving so fast at that point and I really just needed a friend. And all that I could find down in the dungeon was that one slime. And so we sort of just hit things off appropriately. And that's about all I can say about it. Just, just go to the doctor, get yourself tested. I mean, I don't, I don't want to alarm you. I doubt that I had anything at the time. Just, just go get yourself checked out at the Clinique, which is just a more classy clinic. They've got a lot more weird decorations and things. They've got a lot more faux art sitting around. They've got a lot more kish up on the walls. So what does this do for me now? Am I in a new area? I'm in a new area. Sometimes I just got to look at the map because I get all disoriented. Hey, what's up, buddy? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We're going to start our friendship off like that, are we? We're going to start our friendship off like that. Didn't freeze him that time. Oh, that other one stepped in and took the blow for his friend. He's like, no! He tried to dive into the way, but he was too late. You never see that part of the action movie. When the hero dives in front of the bullet too late and it just hits the other person anyways. Or like goes underneath their armpit and they're just like, well, damn. All that exertion seems kind of pointless at this point. Oh, good, there's more of you. That explains why I heard that sound. That explains why I heard that sound. So obviously we've got to get that thing to shoot over to here. And am I trapped now? I'm trapped. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to live with the results of my terrible decisions. Ooh. I felt like that. Ooh. See, I thought I almost thought about both of those too late. I was like, I bet it hits right here. And then I was like, oh, Christ, what if it shoots from behind me right now? And it totally did. It shot from behind me right when I thought about it. I was like, well, damn. I probably should have jumped down some of those holes before I did that, shouldn't I have? Damn. Mm. I feel like I may have missed out on potential secrets. And secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets do not give me treasure. And that didn't rhyme, but... I don't see any buttons or anything over here. There's a hole right there. The question, do we jump down it now? I mean, we could do our hole checking out right now. They keep all the machinery and mechanisms working in the dungeon. All but one that sits in the tunnels below. It needs to be repaired so we can leave this place. Dot, dot, dot. Only a little bit further. I suppose. Thank you for interrupting my sleep. I hate it when you have those dreams. Like, they're dreams where you're just, like, running from something or you're trying to escape from stuff. And even though you slept for 12, 13 hours or 10 hours or however long gives you restful sleep, for me, it's somewhere around 11 or 12. 
That's the only way that I feel rested. I hate it when you wake up after an otherwise great night of sleep and find that you just feel totally tired because your dreams were you running around all over the place. Let's go for it. Ah, see? The Bracelet of Tyran. Protection plus one plus 15% faster cooldown for all actions. I think I'll leave his resist poison up since he's supposed to be a tank. And maybe we'll consider giving that to her so that she can fire even faster. And we'll just keep this. Oh, that makes him tired. Well, whatever. Never mind. Since you're going to be a weenie about it. Never mind. Close that off. And we'll just check all the walls for anything that might have been useful. Nothing clearly visible. Oh, and that teleported me... I think I jumped down this one right here. Which then leads me to check... Oh, damn it. So... Definitely feeling though as though I missed out on something right here. Let's finish off the remainder of these slimes. My reaction times are getting worse. Oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't really want to do anything with my mage right now. There we go. So Hedgerow's totally diseased once again. He just can't seem to keep himself from oozing, weeping, and secreting fluids. I assume that the disease you would get from a dungeon would result in you probably weeping fluids everywhere. I don't know for sure. Ooh, nice little combo right there. Eh, didn't duck out of the way in time. Oh well. What would you do? What would you do? Not try and duck out of the way in the first place then. What is this? The Diviner's Cloak. Let's have a little look-see here. Oh wow. Evasion plus five energy regeneration and it lowers the amount of food that they need as well. That's pretty cool. Ditch that tattered cloak for Sholi. And what else can I get rid of in here? I mean, obviously I can get rid of some of the stuff that... Some of the spells that I can't even use that I'm never going to be able to use. I don't think those are taking up much weight, but... It stands to be reasoned that since we're not taking earth magic or anything else, I could probably alleviate all of my stress right now. By getting rid of anything that I can't use. And then I can just look it up later online. If I forget. These panic rooms, they really do like to hide stuff from us. So I do think it's worth a look around. There's a beetle right there, just in case anybody's feeling hungry at the moment, because nothing says yum yum delicious like a beetle you found on the floor of a dungeon. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing gets my tummy a rumbling. Nothing gets my salivation started. Like a beetle off the floor of a dungeon. And so the final place that we need to be is over here. Oh no. I stepped into the light on accident. Let's go ahead and kill off all the light one more time. Eh, not that way. A little further, a little further. I mean, technically we needed to get to this side anyways. We just sort of did it in a roundabout way. How indeed do I get you to shoot? I already got you to shoot. I don't need you to shoot anymore. So I need to be over there. And so this is the way that I didn't investigate? Alright, let's check it out. I didn't check the walls, hold on. I know, I know. I'm I, it's, I'm trying to save you guys the effort of having to post you missed a secret on every single episode. That's the big thing, is that every secret I miss, it seems like there's 150 comments just like, You missed a button, you dunce! They're like, alright, god, I'll try and... I kind of like how they're fluorescent a little bit. Like, they look definitely bioluminescent. Ooh, sneaky sneaky. Their reaction times are pretty good. I think it's because they don't need to turn around. I think they can attack from any facing. Randolph gained himself another level. 
no doubt, due to the fact that we gave him the XP amulet because he got behind after being dead for almost the entirety of level 3. At this point, it almost makes me not want to even look for secrets because some of the secrets we uncovered on level 6 were two and three actions deep where you pushed a button over here and then accidentally you triggered a thing over here and then finally you triggered a thing over here and eventually you got this thing opened and it's just it's crazy how many activities can go into just opening a single secret I remember back in the day when it took us many many more moons to open up or to destroy those barrels it used to take us a lot more slashes it used to take us two to three go back in over here and I'll let him chase me for a little bit We'll throw some stuff at him unless he gets frozen and then I guess we'll step forward to fix the problem in the old sense which is bashing about the head neck and shoulders does that do anything I don't hear the sound of anything opening so I guess not sounds like there's a bunch of something in there probably burning men would be my guess from the sound. I know where I am right now. If you're wondering why I'm walking in circles, I'm just really trying to make sure that I check every wall for anything that might be useful. So that torch is fine in its sconce. This dead end seems a little suspicious. Runes? Buttons? Runes? No. Let me ditch that torch right there. We'll light everything back up again. Put his throwing knives back on him, although it's about time for us to break off the episode. It looks like some form of teleportation is taking place over this way. I think it's probably a decent plan just to sit back here and chuck stuff at him for a little bit. Although I'm not super enthused about getting myself trapped behind this wall though it's just one slime so whatever I'll let him trap me for now I'll fall into the trap I'll do it willingly I'll do it for the bragging rights and is there anything else down in this room that I need to worry about are these endless slimes right here the game has shown remarkable proficiency oh I had a feeling that thing would might try and do that so I'd actually like to keep him trapped in place right now, regardless of the outcome, because I don't want to fight two slimes at once. I want to keep the initiative firmly on my side, or at least flaccidly on my side, if it decides not to be firm. I'll take a flaccid initiative over no initiative at all. Oh, hell. Let's go pick this up. And we'll sit and observe for just a moment before I break off the episode to figure out if they're endless, like they're constantly just coming in from this way. Although I don't think allowing this slime to get in behind me would be a good idea either, because if my hypothesis turns out to be correct, the thing that we then have to worry about is getting pincered in between two of these things, which is something we just can't manage right now. If we get pincered in between two of them, it's going to be really, really bad. Let me pick up this milk thistle, do a quick turn around. A simple hokey pokey and then oh okay so we found ourselves a crystal well I'm gonna break off the episode right here there's another thing on the ground over there it looks like a torg or a torg or whatever you want to call it my name is splattercat thank you for joining me here for another episode of legend of grimrock I look forward to seeing you on the next episode take care out there everybody and hi do